Metroidvania games are some of my favorite games to play, and they're even better when I can play them on my phone. That's why I wanted to put together this list of my top 10 games in this genre. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below your favorite Metroidvania game on mobile, and let's get right into it. First up, we have Sordigo, which is a classic of the App Store as well as this genre. Now, it plays similar to a 2D Zelda Metroidvania in my opinion, and this game may be old, but it has held up incredibly well over time. It's just as good as the day it was released way back in the day, and I think it's still a must-buy and a must-play today. Definitely check it out. Next up we have Scourgebringer, which is a roguelike metroidvania, and it is really fast-paced and a little bit more difficult than most games on this list. Now the combat especially, you can combo enemies and bosses in mid-air a ton, so there's a lot of aerial combat which I really did enjoy, and it really is rewarding to defeat bosses in this game because of the difficulty. So if you're looking for a fast-paced and hard metroidvania, look no further than this one. Next up we have Hack, which is set in an apocalyptic wasteland. Now this one has a heavy emphasis on platforming and movement, which I really enjoyed. You just feel like a ninja throughout this entire game. And the overarching storyline and its characters were actually fantastic. And this felt like a classic Metroidvania through and through, where you're constantly gaining new power-ups and exploring new areas. I really like this one. Definitely get it. Next up we have Forgone, which deserves more love in my opinion. Now this has slower and more methodical combat similar to old 2D Castlevania games, and it also has a Diablo-like loot system when it comes to its weapons and armor and gear, which makes it really fun to defeat enemies and bosses because you keep on looking forward to that next new toy to mess around with. And I love the boss fights, it has a great art style. Definitely don't overlook this one, this one deserves the love. Next up, we have Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, this is widely considered to be one of the best Metroidvanias ever made, and it has held up incredibly well over time. It's just as good as the day it was released, and it's so fun to destroy enemies and gain their powers, and utilize them to destroy more enemies and gain more powers. It's just a very addicting game and a must play, must buy, and this port is incredible. Next up, we have Grim Valor, which has a distinct dark fantasy theme, as well as quite a few Dark Souls elements mixed in. Now, this one feels so smooth and fluid to play, and that's really important because this is fast-paced and it is difficult, but the bosses and the abilities that you get and that you are able to upgrade your character with are so satisfying and fun. This is a must-buy for mobile. You can tell that this one was built with mobile in mind. Next up we have Dandera, which is the most unique metroidvania on this list. Now you traverse this game's world by slingshotting yourself from platform to platform, and because of this, the world looks and feels completely different from anything I've ever experienced in a metroidvania, and it doesn't hurt that this game is absolutely drop dead gorgeous, and it's just a perfect example of games being art. I loved this one, and you will too. Next up we have Dead Cells, which may just be the best roguelike metroidvania ever made. Now this has fast paced and frenetic combat, tons of different enemies and bosses to fight, lots of gear and abilities that you can loot, and you constantly feel like you have a sense of progression in this game. And it doesn't hurt that this has consistently gotten DLC updates since its release, as well as collaborations. You just can't go wrong with this one. Next up we have Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Something special about this one is that one of the creators of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, as well as Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, helped create this game, and it really shows this has a heavy Castlevania feel to it overall. It just adheres to everything that makes those games great. It doesn't really do anything very unique, but man, if you love Castlevania, Metroidvania games, definitely check this one out. Last but not least, we have The Watcher Chronicles, which is kind of a hidden gem on this list. Now, this is a 2D hack and slash metroidvania that feels a lot like Dark Souls because everything in this game can and will kill you. The difficulty is definitely high with this one. However, it sets itself apart because you can play through this entire game in co-op, which is super cool. So grab yourself a buddy and take the plunge. 
All right, guys, those were 10 of my favorite Metroidvania games available on mobile. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below your favorite Metroidvania game because I'm sure I missed some of them, and these are just my opinions, and I'd love to hear yours. I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe, and take it easy.